history in the making there in Utah County. For the first time, a woman holds a seat on the Utah County Commission. News specialist Garna Mejia spoke to Amelia Powers Gardner tonight right after her win. Garna? Yeah, good evening, you guys. Now, this uh, seat opened up last month. It prompted a special election by the Republican Party, and the winner, as you mentioned, is a well-known figure. She's the current county clerk and auditor. I am really excited to get to work. I've worked at the county for several years now, so I, I know the scope, and I have a lot of ideas. Amelia Powers Gardner is Utah County's newest commissioner following today's special election. So it really was a party election, and there were nine candidates. Gardner is taking over former Utah County Commissioner Tanner Ainge's seat after he accepted an appointment with the governor's office last month. Tonight, Gardner is making history as the first woman to hold the title in Utah County. I'm really excited to show that the young women of this, of this county, that a millennial and a woman has a seat at the table with everybody else. But Gardner's had a rocky month following allegations that she harassed a former employee over his sexual orientation. Gardner says a former employee is a close friend and they've moved on. My friend and I and, and Human Resources, we absolutely worked that out. And I use that as a growing opportunity and a learning opportunity. I'm one who believes that once we stop growing and stop learning, we stop living. And so I really embrace this opportunity to do better, to learn better. I recognize the difference between a personal relationship and, and letting that flow over into the workplace. And as she joins the other commissioners at the table, Gardner says first up on her agenda is addressing growth in the county. I want to start creating a strategic plan for the county to work with Silicon Slope and the Chamber of Commerce, the university, and the state get you got involved and recognize that at the rate we're going, we're going to be the largest county in the state in about a decade and a half. And so let's start preparing for that now. Now, Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson also tweeted out her congratulations to Gardner. Now that term is up next year. I'm Gardner Mejia, KSL 5 News.